welcome back to the vlog today is monday and i am headed to go pick up charlie and i need to run to the grocery store real quick speaking of grocery store did i grab my we got the road i don't know if i grabbed the card i needed <laughs> i'm so happy i started this because i really don't think i grabbed the car that I needed. I took it out. No, I didn't. So let me go run and get that real quick. It's a great thing I started this vlog here. <laughs> okay, we're back. So grab the two cards and now I'm headed to go pick up Charlie. She hung out with her auntie today. They went shopping and I know that she got her or baby boy some clothes. So if she did, I'll show you guys what she uh, got them. That's really hot. But um, anyways, I haven't been doing much today. Um, don't really work a lot this week. Um, so my goal was to really focus on editing video YouTube videos that I have. Just kind of in my um drafts and uploading those and um just having like videos scheduled to go out. I would love to get to videos out a week if possible um sometimes that's not possible for me just because of my schedule and how everything goes so that that's really one of my goals that i'm trying to get to is two videos a week um so i edit two today uploaded one when i upload the other one um, when i get back and then i have one more i think one or two more to edit so like that's four videos there so hopefully i can keep like that momentum up and just start picking up the camera more and vlogging more um now that i have a new tripod that is amazing um i'll be sure to link it too just in case you guys are looking for one um i'm hoping that will help me as well so um yeah um that's all i've been doing today was editing and uploading Also trying to talk, so. so now I just went to the store, picked up Charlie, and I thought we could go to the grocery haul. And I got some soy milk, Charlie's whole milk, and then I got some pasta so we can bake spaghetti, um, croutons, uh, crispy onions, some barbecue sauce, and some ketchup because so I'm making um, a sticky barbecue chicken to foil and then I got um green beans for veggies some cucumbers for a snack and then I got mozzarella sharp cheddar and parmesan for baked spaghetti and then I got some corn on the cob onion and asparagus and you say it's hard to tell just what I'm thinking. You think it's hard to see behind my smile. I'll say whatever you want. Let you walk in on my heart if you want to. You can ask anything, no walls between us. Secrets, no, 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 no secrets. Wanna show. 
Mama's tea that you I took. Yeah, is that Mama's tea? Yeah, I think it is. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, I think the last part you guys saw was when I was making the baked spaghetti yesterday. It was really good. The only thing that I would do differently is add more sauce. I put the right amount of sauce that the recipe called for, but I did take some out to use for Charlie's pasta. So I felt it was just like on the little bit of the drier side. Um, but I would like suggest using like that big jar I use and then maybe like a smaller jar of that or get the same big jar and just, you know, cut it in half just to have it a little bit more saucier. Um, but it had really great flavor. Um, that was my first time making baked spaghetti. I know it's a very simple dish, but um, first time Nakia really liked it. She was craving it and she asked me to make it. And usually my aunt makes it for us. Um, but I was like, let me just try making it for you. So it turned out great. Um, also last night, Charlie fell off the couch, y'all. Oh my God. I had, so she likes to like run on the couch and I had stepped into the bathroom one second because my ear was bleeding. So I stepped in the bathroom one second to get some tissues to like clean it. And like as soon as I turned, all I saw was her legs like flying in the air. So she went over to the back and hit her head and has like a knot here. Oh my God, y'all. I, I was panicking and I started crying immediately. I probably cried for probably like 30 minutes because I, like anything, anything could have happened. Like, thank you. I don't want to say thank God, but like, I, I wish it didn't happen, but I know she's going to get injured, but thank God it wasn't like her neck wasn't broke or no bones was broken, anything like that. And I was like ready to rush to the hospital and he was like, no, 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 let's just monitor her. And there's always two parents. I'm the more panic and like ready to like, let's go to the hospital. And she was like, we're not going to do anything for it. And she's more calm and peaceful. So we let, I gave Charlie a bath. We gave her a popsicle, probably some ice on it. It was a knot on her forehead. And I gave her, um, after the bath, we just put her in bed with us and we just all cuddled and watched um, 
one of our animal shows that we like to watch. Um, well, she calmed down and then we did give her some medicine just in case she was um, in pain. Um, but she was still acting like her normal self. Wasn't like fussy, irritable, crying. Um, just more cuddly. So we did that and then we put her down for bed. Um, and Nakia checked on her once and I got back up and checked on her before I went to sleep. Just to make sure she was okay. Um, and she was fine and she slept all night and woke up this morning bright and early, happy, ready to play and go. So that happened last night. Uh, and I was just like so sad because like she's always on the couch and you know, I didn't think like our couches are high. Like it's not high where it can protect her and she's like tall. So like she's always done that and she's never fallen so it was just the first time she's fallen and i'm like Ugh, i don't want you on the couch anymore but it's like yeah i want you to sit on the couch you know because it's like your home your couch you know so anyways that was really scary last night um but she's all good this morning um i am headed to to go to hobby lobby just to get out the house a little bit it looks like it's about to storm right now um which I, i'm okay if it is but anyways um going to hobby lobby and I, I remember last year when i first like launched my youtube channel they um i did a vlog where they had their like i don't know if it is if they call it their semi-annual sale or what but they have like where they mark down stuff for like 50 percent 75 percent like it's really 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 cheap and um I'll link that video here so you guys, if you want to go back and watch it, it will be linked down in the um, description. So I'm going to go to see if they have that because I remember when I went, it was around this time last year. So between like May and June when I went. So I'm going to go today. Um, I'm kid free. So I'm going to go today, do a little browsing, um, and then I will take you guys along if I find anything. I hope I find some good stuff because I do need some more like... Um, wall art for our bedroom because we just got it repainted and I want to put some wall art, wall art up and kind of just spruce up our bedroom because it's very like bland like it's there's nothing exciting in that bedroom so anyways I'm gonna go there and I will take you guys along with me I just left Hobby Lobby no luck um they don't have the sale going on right now the I asked the sale associate and she asked her manager and he said that it probably probably will be going on within the next couple of weeks um they already have fall stuff out which i know they have to for like people who craft and that's their you know full-time business but they have fall stuff out so i know it's coming um just because they need to clean out more to get more fall and like christmas stuff in there soon so um i'm gonna come back um, I didn't just walk around. I didn't record anything um, just because they didn't have the sale and that's what I was taking you guys in there for. Morning! Happy Wednesday. Ooh. Me and Charlie are off to the park to go have a play date with our friend Sarah and Tiana. Um, I just made a new mom friend and um, I know I've talked about Sarah before on my channel but I just made a new mom friend named Tiana. Um, and we all have been hanging out together and it's been amazing um to have my friends who just understands you gets you supports you and are there for each other and our kids you saw the bus bus i totally forgot to put in earrings in my ring today so i feel kind of naked um but it feels good out here right now it's only 73 degrees but it's still like a nice combination of sun and breeze at the same time so we're gonna go do that and then we'll come back home eat lunch nap time and i'm debating it if i'm gonna go to target during her nap time um just because the kid works from home i don't think i told you guys that but she works from home now um so she's normally there while she's napping and i can just run out because i need to get her and baby boy some stuff um so I'm not sure if I'm going to go then or wait just a little bit later. But anyways, that is our plans for the day. I know I didn't pick up the camera after I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I started to record how I made my barbecue sauce for my like sticky chicken wings. You can make it for chicken wings, chicken thighs, whatever sauce. But I was so focused on like 
the camera that I messed up the entire recipe. So I was like, let me just focus on that. So I didn't record that, but I'll record it later once I make it again to show you guys because it's super easy and super simple. But anyways, we're off to the park and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey y'all, so um, it's later. We got home, had lunch, we played a little bit. And I got Charlie down for her nap. I'm not going to Target because the kid's not here right now. So I'm doing some laundry. But I wanted to show you guys this little hack that I discovered um, on Pinterest to get stains out of kids clothes because like look at this probably can't see it on the black but you see that and like let me try to find another one where it's like clear like stains you see that so sometimes these stains are hard to get out even if you use like um um like shower or things like that so I saw this hack where you use um, Don just showed, this is baking soda in here, and you put peroxide. Now, this is probably not new. This is probably something that they did back in the day. But I'm just going to show you how I do it. And I'm just going to add in peroxide to the mixture. They do have measurements online, but I just, you know, I'm not a measurement girl, so... I do what I have to. Then I take an O2 fresh and I kind of just stir it up like this to activate it. Like this. If you want to make sure it's nicely mixed up. And then once you mix it up, you just start putting it on the clothes. And I'll show you guys that as well. So that's all you do. You just mix it up. And... So it's something like that. I hope you guys can really see it. And it doesn't stain the clothes just because it's green either. And so the mixture is all good. So I'm just going to take it and scrub it like that on there. And just scrub it really good. And honestly, sometimes when you scrub the mixture on the stain, the stain will lift up automatically. You just want to make sure you give it a nice good scrub, especially if it's like a soft stain. Like a pasta saucing. And so literally all you do guys is just scrub the stains. And then one thing I do too is once I get this mixture on there, on line it said to let it sit. Um you can let it sit for an hour or two, or you can let it sit overnight. I'm just going to let it sit for probably like two hours and then um, go ahead and start the washing machine. And this one's going to be a little bit more tricky because there's so many things. So you just start to lather that up like that. I noticed once I let it sit for 24 hours, that it does tend to do a little bit better. Even with an hour or two, it's still fine too. But you know, the longer it's still just like everything else, you know, the better it's gonna be. But it does get the stains out. If you need to do it in a quick amount of time, but do, do let it sit, don't just put this on and start washing. Let it sit a little bit. Typically I would do this in the morning, but we, had, we left this morning to go to the play date, so. But it's fine, I'm gonna do it during nap. Just let it sit and then when she wake up from that, I'll go ahead and start it. That do you you know I wanna treat you that way? No. I've been running, can't catch up. Oh love, what I won't do. Oh you got me chasing waterfall. And waterfall. All of the times I've been there, times I came through, I'd meet you anywhere if it brought me closer to you. Distance is killing me, you make it so hard. Won't you let me love you, babe? 
used to be optimistic These days I just don't know Pick a fence in the valley I hope it's losing its hold You know the mother girls will love you like I do Can't afford to give up on you And you know I wouldn't do that to you You know I wouldn't treat you that way No I've been running Can't catch up Oh love What I won't do Oh You got me Chasing waterfalls Oh And waterfall, oh, oh, oh. I have those clothes in the washing machine that I just cleaned. I'm gonna let them sit for about an hour or two, but I thought I can do this haul for you guys. Their aunt went shopping for them, so she got them some goodies. So she got baby boy some onesies, and then um actually my cousin got this little romper and this little romper for him as well um their aunt got them this stuff which got charlie some biker shorts this really cute little pom-pom dress i love this it's by the brand tommy bahamas oh, sorry if I'm saying it right, but this is so cute. And then she got baby boy some shorts. Got him a jacket that has his name on it for Levi. That's cute. And then she got <laughs> Charlie the sweater for the fall. The little fox on it. I hope she can fit it. Um and got her this little long sleeve shirt for the fall as well. This is really cute. This is from Monavi. And that sweater was from um, Target. Oh, oh, these are big. So she got her some bigger biker shorts when she gets a little bit older. Oh, and then these are some shorts from, <clears throat> excuse me, they're Cat and Jack brand. And then these are also some bigger biker shorts. So when she gets older, She'll have those and then she got baby boy these cute little shorts when he gets bigger so that's it for the haul and that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next one Bye.